Hello PBO people, it is me, the analyst Alakazams, back with the Neon Finals for Season 6 of the PBO. I am here with the New York Malamars. What's going on? Finals. And the Cherry Hill Bell Sprouts. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so we are here with Caleb versus... Caleb, the coach of the uh, New York Nickets, versus Beep Boop, the coach of the Blasphemous Blacephalons. Go! I believe these. This was the one and two seed, correct? The one and two seed. These yep. two kind of dominated. This is all chalk. Yeah, these all two chalk. dominated this season, and you can kind of see it in the, at least in Caleb's team. I think is very very good. All right, so it's Umbreon versus Toad Scroll. I do have Caleb's team because um he sent it in a chat. In fact, I'll pull that up real quick because having that would be very useful. So this is a Giga Drain, Max HP, Max Speed, Giga Drain, Earth Power, Toxic Spikes, Rapid Spin. Toxic Spikes could be pretty huge. Five Grounded Mons, uh, no poison because the Quag yeah, isn't probably... Terra poisoned yet. Yeah. So if the Quag gets poisoned, that would be pretty big. I think that T-Spike is going to go up here. That's my guess. From Caleb. Does Umbreon have... Oh, it's too slow. Well, does it have Taunt? Because Toad Scroll always goes last if it uses Toxic Spikes. That is true. So maybe it has Taunt. Overplaying Heart Flame instead. I think it is going to be a T-Spike. So now this is an interesting position, right? Because this thing has Mold Breaker. So theoretically... It could just throw out an Ivy Cudgel here, right? And uh, yeah, or can it's is it faster than everything? Can it just SD here and win? Uh, it should be faster than everything. I don't see anything. It's not faster than because it's a Specs. There's no Scarfer on the team. It's Specs Enam and Specs Heatran, so it is a Scarf. This this game might be over. Okay, yeah. There's the SD. Because this thing can't hit him at all. He can... Yeah, he has to get again. through this Ogre Pond somehow. He's in a bad spot, because if he doesn't... He's in, have, a, he's he in an absolutely Sparker. horrible spot, I agree. Because, yeah, Horn Leech just kills 100% um, HP. That, that, that might be the best case Island scenario is? for him. I think it might have been worse if he had SD'd again. I think he just won on yeah. turn 3. SD and then Horn Leech again. Doesn't, does he not still win? I, don't, I actually don't know what Caleb does. I guess Heatran might live. I mean, I'm sure Annihilate could possibly take a hit if it's defensive. But, I mean, uh, this I thing's... this thing's. I don't think Annihilate can kill, because Annihilate doesn't have a move to kill. It has Rage Fist and Drain Punch. I think uh, this Overpond's about to get... Yeah, like, this is over. I think this Overpond might get three kills. Enam. This, this does have... Dying. Yeah, this, this Enam specs. It's dead. Crit. I don't oh, know if the crit mattered. It would, I, it I really, I matter, really don't think it mattered. Though. That yeah, Enamorous only had 48 HP. <laughs> PBO Nation, the game's over. Turn two. This is crazy. I mean, Caleb's just at, no plan for Ogre Pond. Absolutely smoked by Ogre Pond. Is it Heat Ran could come out and it can probably take a hit, even if it's low kick, if it's defensive, but it's not going to do anything back. Just absolutely blasted by Ogre Pond. It, I don't even think he needs to click coverage here. No, just like, click, just click Ivy Cudgel. This thing can't kill you. And even if it does no, kill like you, even, it, if it, even if it has Gunk Shot and it does kill you, you get freaking like Drain Punch. That does nothing. Ogre Pond's too fat. Yeah, it doesn't matter. The game, yeah, I don't, I don't know if he. Can <coughs> and now, and now he can Horn Leech and get HP back too. Yeah. This is brutal. Maybe here you go to Heatran. Maybe that's your only way to win. I think Horn Leech into... I, I, I would bet Horn Leech into Ivy Cudgel kills. Does he have any defensive besides Slowking? No, he has no defensive... defensive he, he has no defensive Pokemon. All his Pokemon are offensive, except for Slowking and yeah. uh, the Toad Scroll that's dead. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to look at his team... This is this is I, I I didn't get a chance to look at his team. I realize now there's literally no answer to Ogre Pond. He has nothing faster, just one sword stance, no speed boost needed. 
And that's three yeah, mons down. I mean, he can. I, I mean, do you I think the last move? Do you, do you think the last move is stomping? I doubt it. It's brick break. Okay. Why Fire blast. That is going to kill because it's specs. So that's that's three it mons for job. one. Yeah, it did a job. I think, he, <laughs> I think he just goes to uh, car bank and sets up trick room. Yeah, I mean, it is. Uh, he's probably calculating to see if it specs. I, I think without specs, it would still kill. I actually, uh, I actually don't know if. Uh, but by the way, if because this thing killed with this, I think he threw hard, right? Because he actually didn't need to lose Enam or uh, Annihilate. Well, he had to get some damage. Well, he got no. He got the damage with Earth Power. Those two got no damage, or no, the the Drain Punch actually from. Uh, yeah, does drain. he not have Overheat? He does. Overheat would one shot. He should have one hundred percent gone this and clicked Overheat. Overheat would one shot yeah. Ogre Pond. But uh, like. So if he has the SD up, it should be low kick, not brick break. Low kick would kill the Heatran. So the only reason this is even a game is because yeah he doesn't have low kick or stomping tantrum, like you mentioned, also would have killed this. Yeah, anything to one shot Heatran would have been good. This is a strange Screen switch. Green is interesting. Well, I mean, he has no, he has no, he has no switches really. He has no real switch. Yeah. Blissepalon is. Just assuming that he's so far ahead that if he sets up screens and goes into Blood, Blood Moon, Moon or probably some variation of its offensive Jirachi could have a set yeah, that I can beat Slow King. I will say, like, three of the Pokemon on Blacephalon's side are very passive, right? Like, uh, yeah. uh Umbreon, Quagsire, and uh, Carbink all kind of just are passive Pokemon. This might be like a. Uh, actually, oh, I know what this is. This is what Blacephalons does every week. This is going to be uh, a Jirachi, and it's going to be Trick Room Jirachi, and it's going to be like Meteor Beam Carbink, and then Trick Room with Screens Ursa Luna. I think this is the right switch, because if you went to Bax, it's not going to do anything. To... Yeah, I, I think Umbreon is just going to click uh, Foul Play here and kill this. And yeah. I think, I think Umbreon's going to stay in until it dies, if I had to guess. Yeah, there's no reason not to. Differential doesn't matter at all. It's like, whatever. Oh. The only way you can lose this is by letting back set up. Which, by the way, you also have... Um, Yeah, it's a crit. You you, you have Unaware oh. Quag, so... Yeah. If Umbreon's last move isn't toxic, I don't know what else it would be. Baton Pass. Maybe Wish. I'm guessing that the Ogre Pond was Brick Break for something with screens. Yeah, I mean, looking at the team, I don't know what... Uh, Sloking, I guess. What he, I don't know what he has on the bench, what Caleb has on the bench, but you didn't need anything but the grass move, the fire move, and the SD. All right, so it's going to be... No. I think that's probably a bad play from Blacephalons, but I don't know if it matters too much. Because like, you live the backs move, and you kill it with Blood Moon. Yeah, I think he has to go to Heatran. Heatran and, just Heatran and overheat. Click, click overheat and do like 670 because you are specs. Yeah, he's, that's what he's going to do. Yeah, this was not a great play, but because this is his only offensive guy he has left. Yeah, this is the, unless it's offensive. I mean, if it's offensive Jirachi, that, that actually does negative damage. Holy shit. I thought that'd do way more. Okay. This Ursula this so might. Gonna... I don't know. That's crazily low damage. I, I mean, I know light screen is up, but I was expecting like 70%. I'm not going to lie. It, it could be AV. It could be non-setup. Yeah. That PBO, Baxcalibur right. is still there. Like, it, I mean, yeah, th this uh, Ursaluna is pretty useless at this point, so I would just Blood, yeah, blood Moon. 66. Scald. It actually does no damage. Alright, well now you can just Earth yeah. Power. And this thing dies, and if it doesn't die, then Bax comes in, and it's that's your only win con. Skull was actually a pretty bad play. Probably should have chilled. Yeah, that was bad. Should have chilled. There would have been no snow, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, what does it matter? Snow. Does he have Iron Head on his? He doesn't. So his thing doesn't even have Iron Head, so Carbon... So he does just go Bax. No blast. And now Bax is super low, and it's, it's just over. I think Carbink's yeah. gonna come out here. Or even Jirachi. Jirachi's fine. Yeah, 
it's Carbink though, and that's fine. I think Carbink might click a uh, Trick Room, and if it doesn't, it might click Meteor Beam. Yeah, Meteor Beam. I wouldn't be surprised if this Slowking's faster, because this might be like a negative speed Trick Room Carbink. I don't thing. think it can. Yeah, I don't think it can be s slower than Slowking. It can if Slowking's uh. Oh, okay, it, it isn't. And now th there's just no way that Bax can kill. And you just no. Ogre Pond absolutely obliterated Caleb. And there was... This, this game wasn't even we got close. Saved. Yeah, we got saved from the 6-0 because it wasn't low kick. If it was low kick, okay, this crit? was 100... Oh, wait. It's gotta be Shuka Jirachi, right? It doesn't have to be... It doesn't have to be oh, Shuka Jirachi. Couldn't they just go Umbreon foul play? Am I wrong? Uh, it'll, it, I don't know if Umbreon lives. A yeah, Glaive Rush might kill it. If it's max attack. This was Lumberry, right? Yeah, it's Lum. Glaive? No, not even close, actually. Foul play. GG. And Blacephalons are your Neon Champions in a pretty anticlimactic ending game. Caleb kind of threw away Annihilate and Enam when he trend lived and killed with Overheat, I'm pretty sure. Um, but Ogre Pond did have a crazy matchup. I mean, it was very difficult yeah. for Caleb to beat it. Caleb would have had to bring something yeah. else because these th these six in particular got smashed by the yeah. Ogre Pond. He had nothing Bolt to Breaker outspeed. is always one of those abilities. Like I, I don't know if he forgot that Heatran doesn't absorb the fire. His Mold Breaker is one of those abilities. Like even I mess up sometimes in prep. You're like, oh, I can. Yeah. So not I can't not get Thunder Wave by Tengaton. 